Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is going to be covering the Honeywell Home RTH 7600D. This is a programmable thermostat with seven-day schedule programming capability and auto changeover for heating and cooling. Uh, but we're going to cover in this video the factory reset and lock and unlock. Okay, I have other videos covering setup and install in the settings menu, seven-day programming, as well as manual override, temporary override of the thermostat. But let's get into lock and unlock and factory reset. Now, this is going to be kind of disappointing, but there is no lock and unlock of this thermostat. Okay, that function does not exist, even though it's available in other Honeywell thermostats. The lock and unlock does not exist on this thermostat, you, so you cannot lock out the keypad or lock out the thermostat from someone changing the temperature or anything, or changing the settings. But there is a form of factory reset, but it's not a factory reset, okay? So both of these functions don't exist on this thermostat. You have to change the settings manually in order to factory reset it. And that's the only way of doing that. And I can kind of show you where that is, but I would encourage you to check out my setup menu and install video on this thermostat. I'll link it in the cards up above and I go more into detail on how to change those settings. But it is a hidden menu and to access that hidden menu, you have to first click on the system button here, have the screen change, and then you hold down the fan button. So once you do that, it's going to bring up a function number and a setting number. Now, I go over this in my other video when I cover the settings menu and install. Okay, so please check out that video. Um, but I'm just going to hit done on this. Let's do that one more time just to show you where it's at. Hold on the fan button. But this is like the way you would factory reset. You basically would have to go through these and make the proper selection, which I go through in that video, for each one of these. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different functions that you're going to need to change and adjust, okay, to according to what they're supposed to be. And there's quite a bit of them. So... That there is how you would kind of reset the settings on the thermostat. Uh, but if you want to reset the schedule, uh, you're going to have to go through the schedule pretty much. And click on schedule and go through each one of these days. Hit edit. For each one of the days, you're going to have to do this and go through the time periods and set the time and temperature, time and temperature. I go over this in my seven-day programming uh, video. So... Check the, that video out if you want to go more into detail on seven-day programming and kind of like resetting your schedule. Uh, but that there is the basics on how to do that. You basically, you really don't have an option for complete factory wipe on the unit at all. You have to go physically into each setting and rechange it or adjust it as needed. Same thing with the schedule. Same thing with those factory default settings, okay? There's just no quick way of doing it, even though some other thermostats like even the Honeywells, they allow you to completely factory wipe it. Um, there's nothing on the back of the thermostat either, like a little dip switch or some kind of like, you know, button you press and hold with a pencil. There's nothing like that on this unit. So some thermostats just don't have a factory reset or a lock and unlock, okay? It's just the way it is. But this is still a very nice thermostat. I like how big the screen is on this. It's easily legible. I can see all the, the values and the time is very easy to see, which is important because you want to set that and make sure that's set correctly for it to work correctly. And you can see the time and day and all these things very easily with a naked eye. Uh, some of the screens on the thermostats are very small and it makes it hard to see that basic information. And you'll be surprised how easy it is to mess that up because of the, the size of the screen being so small. Um, I caught myself having a mistake where I had the AM and PM wrong on my schedule and the time on the thermostat which was screwing everything up it completely inverted my schedule so that's something i talk about in my other video five common mistakes for with honeywell thermostats i go over some of the common mistakes i see people make in that video but i encourage you to check that video out like i said i have a separate video going over the setup and install in the settings menu seven day programming manual override and this video here kind of touching base on how to like kind of factory reset 
and the lack of unlock and lock. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. I'll link them in the upper right cards up above. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next video.